architectural wonder that is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A huge play there right off the bat. 46 yards. From the red zone now, Prescott. He'll buy some time right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Point after, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 23. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And this one goes nowhere. Luke. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. On third down, Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From midfield now, here's Ryan. He sets the fire deep, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Now it's Ryan. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And he will go down. A Cowboy 
sack. Sean Lee in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's not even going to come close. A big loss in the wrong direction on fourth down. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. First and 10, Prescott. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin, 49 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Now for the point after. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. That's gonna set him back five yards. This is Coleman. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Third and long. It's Ryan. He's going to float this one deep right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked off Byron Jones. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Prescott on the right side. This is Austin with a catch. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Yeah. 
four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here we go, 46. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, 46. To throw is Prescott, sliding out of the pocket. That is caught at the seven. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. From the shotgun, it's Prescott escaping the pressure right. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. To the air again, Prescott. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Prescott yet again. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go here on fourth and goal to hit pay dirt, but they're going to go for it. They'll run it with Elliott, and he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. Ezekiel Elliott unable to punch it in, and the Falcons able to muster together a goal line stand. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On the screen, this is Coleman. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. On second down, here's Ryan. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Malik Collins able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think it's Julio Jones all alone. 30, 10, for touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 83 yards, and the Falcons.
Titans draw a bit closer. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. I mean, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. This is taken about seven yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, with that incompletion, let's look back, Charles, to the NFC title game. We had two excellent conference championship games, but on the NFC side, the Rams winning in overtime thanks to Greg Zerline. He had two huge kicks, but that was really over shadowed because afterwards, obviously, everyone talking about the no call. Yeah, and we should be talking about Legatron. A 48-yarder to get them to overtime. The 57-yarder to win it in overtime. He should be the guy who should be exalted right now, but you're exactly right. Nikhil Roby Coleman's hit on Tommy Lee Lewis in regulation. When I saw it live, thought it was a bang-bang play. Turned out, it was definitely a missed call. Plus, they missed helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact on it as well. So if you're a Saints fan, you are very unexcited about the Rams advancing to the Super Bowl, but I still don't want pass interference to become a reviewable call. The game flow is paramount to me. Let's not slow it down any more than it already is. Yeah, it could be a slippery slope, then you start doing it with everything. Right? Next thing you know, we'll be reviewing holding. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you can probably call holding just about every play in the NFL. He's going to right, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. After the interception, here's Ryan. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Anthony Brown right there to knock it away. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, and the way to play good defense. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. Throwing on third and long. Ryan. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Anthony Brown right there to knock it away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away and brings up a fourth down decision. And he'll try and hurry the kick, gets it away, but it's not looking that great. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team right on the midfield stripe. And now here come the Cowboys. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Prescott now from the 50. Rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Final play of the half, Prescott. He'll let it fly for Austin. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. 
Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On second down, Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. Oh, what a juke into space. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. Trying to defend a drag route is really tough because you don't want to jump a route the shorter or underneath as the drag route is too quickly because oftentimes they want to run that route and then hit over the top of you for bigger yardage. So if you can, if you can chip off the timing of the receiver off the line of scrimmage so it can't actually get into the route, that's the best way to defend it. But there was no possibility of that on that play. End result, the receiver won in a big way. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. There's Coleman. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe... Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. While we have a second, Charles, the Patriots, of course, back in the Super Bowl, getting the 37-31 victory over KC in the AFC title game. Great game, but you know, the, the Patriots... You know nobody believes in them. Yeah, right. right. They're playing that underdog card, but I thought it was funny because after the game, they asked Tom Brady, were you guys just trying to use that for your own motivation? He said no comment because they were. They know they're not the underdog. They know it, but when you've been that great, for this long you need something you've got to find something different and Tom Brady I've got to give him credit somehow he made his team buy that and believe in it when no one else in the country that's caught inside the 20 and he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory a big play here for Dallas 52 yards now Elliott and they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Scott, flush to his right. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. The intended receiver, Tavon Austin. And that takes us from second to third down. Touchdown run. Take the wrist out now. 